Well, your season is on you. You're you're getting ready to start your first practice, or maybe this is your first coaching job, or maybe it's a new coaching job, or just a new season. Regardless, you look at this coaching profession and you say, you know, look at all the things that I could teach. Look at all the things that I know how to teach. Uh, when I consider everything that I want my players to know, it's, it's daunting. Well, look, you don't have to teach everything that you know when you're coaching. Uh, it's said that the uh, novice or maybe the beginning teacher teaches everything that they know. You know, the, the experienced teacher teaches only the best of what they know to the students. You know, but the master teacher teaches only what the students or the players need to know. Well, look, let's approach your practice planning that way. And here are four easy steps to plan your practice on what your players need to know. The first step is to evaluate the defensive level of your opponents. Now, you probably already know this level. You know, it's something like, well, they guard the ball pretty good. You know, there's some pressure there. Uh, but their help defense, it's only occasionally there. That's their level. Step two is to match the read and react offense layers to the defensive level of your opponent. Well, now, in this case, you're only going to need the first three layers. There's no need in going into all the screening layers and that kind of stuff because you don't have to contend with any great, consistent helping positions. So, layers one, two, and three is all you're going to need. Step three is to figure out your player development skills that you're going to be working on with your players. You've got to grow your players, so what are you going to be working on? Well, this is easy. You match the player development skills with the read and react layers that you're running. So you, in this case, it's layers one, two, and three. You simply go look up the drills for layers one, two, and three, and then you're going to rep them, and that becomes your player development section. Step four is to figure out what you're going to teach on defense. Now, again, this is kind of easy. You already know you need to teach the defensive skills that it takes to guard layers one, two, and three. But you always go one defensive level above that. So you're going to teach them how to guard the ball. That's layers one, two, and three. Plus level two, how to guard away from the ball. See, if you're a defensive level ahead of your opponents, you have a chance of beating them all. 